Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So yesterday we talked about what the introvert slash extrovert relationship is like. Today we're going to talk about the 15 things that the introvert wants the extrovert to know about them right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn, and I'm your life and relationship strategist. Again, we're going to be talking about the 15 things that the introvert wants the extrovert to know. So the very first thing is that they need a me time. Extrovert, don't take this personally. I need my me time. I need to be quiet. Even if we're in the same space, I need to be quiet. Am I going to be quiet all the time? No. But the times that I am quiet, I need that time because I got a lot of stuff up in here that I'm thinking about. I always got something on my mind. And so I'm trying to figure out those things. <laughs> so don't take my quiet time personally. The second thing to think about is introvert. Guess what? When I'm quiet, doesn't mean that I'm not enjoying myself. It just means that I don't want to talk right now. Or... Again, I'm in my head about something, but don't don't take it personally. Don't think it has anything to do with you. It's really all about me. And I'm enjoying my quiet. I'm enjoying myself. Just sitting here quiet and doing me. The third thing to remember, extrovert, is guess what? I do not like socializing every day. But that doesn't mean I don't like to socialize at all. So don't exclude me out of everything, but just don't think I want to go every day either. Number four, I kind of really hate parties, but it's not because of what you're thinking. I hate parties because all those people actually drain my energy. All of those different energies, all those different personalities, all those people wanting to talk, that's draining to me. So... I try to stay away from parties and large social gatherings. Number five, extrovert. Go away with all of that small talk. I don't like it. It's unnecessary to me. I don't think I need it. When you're ready to have a deep intellectual conversation, then come see me. Number six, just because I need my me time does not mean anything is wrong with me. Trust me, I just need to recharge and re regain my energy, regain my stability, regain my center. So let me do that. Number seven, I like to have fun too. Don't think that I don't just because I'm an introvert. Again, I just don't like to do it every day. <laughs> or at least what you think is fun. Because as I already mentioned, I like to just sit by myself and that's actually fun for me. So your type of fun doesn't mean that I don't like to do your type of fun. I do. Number eight. Sorry that you think that I'm being rude. I am not, but this is actually me. I'm just being me. Number nine. I do love my me time, and I love to be alone, but not all the time. I don't need to be alone all the time. Number ten. Why do you think I have low self-esteem just because I'm quiet? Number 11, who told you I was broken and needed to be fixed? I'm not extrovert. You don't have to try to fix me. I actually like who I am. Extrovert, don't tell an introvert that they're too quiet because that's actually insensitive and it's a bit rude. Number 13, I actually love spending time with just you. I don't need all the extras around. You're enough. Number 14, I actually like it when you push me out of my comfort zone. Occasionally, not every day. Number 15, extrovert, I value your friendship probably more than you even know. So thank you. All right, extroverts out there, what did you think about this list? Are you going to take it personally? Start to think about how your introvert friends and spouses are feeling so that you understand them a lot better. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video where introverts, guess what? I'm telling you the 15 things that extroverts want you to know. Deuces.